All right, this is Kit Cabello of Hardlands Media. Today I'm joined with Frank Avalon. Frank, uh, what is the name of your organization, and most importantly, uh, why is your organization here at this uh, Protecting Pilsen's community? Yeah, I'm Frank Avalon, as you mentioned, Kit, and I appreciate your, your chatting with me. Um, I work at Lawyers Committee for Better Housing. We are a not-for-profit tenants' rights organization, and we promote affordable housing in Chicago, and we also try to fight displacement of tenants through gentrification. So we're here because we've been in partnership with Pilsen Alliance for a number of years, as we are with many community groups, as a way of trying to promote affordable housing, avoid the displacement of working class and low income families that are really the backbone that make this city work. Um, people have to be able to afford to live in the city that they call home and in the city that their toil creates. So um, we're here in partnership with the other organizations that are here. This work is going on all over the city, indeed all over the country. It's important stuff. Now it's quite clear gentrification is affecting all of Chicago, but it's not only just a problem here in our city, but it's a nationwide problem. But specifically with your organization, uh, has your organization reached out to any city officials or even Rahm Emanuel's administration in regards to helping out the people? And if so, what has their response been? Yeah, we've had some outreach to uh, local automatic people and people in the mayor's office and the city administration on many layers. Um, it's it's really important to realize the scope and breadth of rental housing in Chicago. There are over 640,000 rental units in the city alone, and that consists over 60% of all the occupied dwellings. So we're talking about a huge segment of the city. Um, very important. We've been promoting a legislative agenda for city council that's in its infancy in, in discussions with uh, uh, city officials and all the uh, people in uh, city council to promote just cause for eviction so the tenants can only be evicted if they do something wrong. There's at least three states and over 19 cities in the United States where you can't just whimsically terminate a tenant's residency in their home for no reason at all. There has to be a good cause or a just cause. Um, we're not pioneers in this regard. We're just asking that Chicago uh, come into the modern era by recognizing the importance of stable neighborhoods and stable housing. Just cause for eviction is one small piece in recognizing that housing is and ought to be a human right. So that's one of several pieces that we've been talking to the city administration about and with city council about. Now it's quite clear gentrification is still happening within our city and it's still being implemented. Can any of the social change that you just stated earlier be implemented under Rahm Emanuel's administration? Well, I can't really comment on about that. That's of course the, the mayor's de decision and um, you know whether it's a Democratic or Republican uh, administration, one thing that I think we've seen building over the years, but certainly culminating in last year's presidential campaign is a certain understanding that both political parties um, you know, are essentially centrist and corporatist. And um, I think what people in the community and people all over the country are trying to say is that there's a different way of looking at America. There's a different way of looking at Chicago. Um, instead of looking at what is it that creates profits for a handful of people, instead we want to talk about how do you create neighborhoods and blocks and buildings where people can thrive, where families can be stable, and everyone have a piece uh, uh, of the pie in creating stable neighborhoods. Um, whether it's this city administration or another city administration, there's lots of work to be done to make this dream happen of a different kind of America and a different kind of Chicago. Um, I should mention that um, there's over 30,000 formal eviction cases filed just in the Circuit Court of Cook County every single year. We estimate that somewhere in 20 to 30 percent of those 30,000 are evictions without just cause. Um, Requiring just cause for eviction can help stabilize neighborhoods and give both landlords and tenants a long-term stake in the well-being of neighborhoods. Right now, not only in Chicago, but in many places, um, uh, property owners are allowed to let their buildings fall into disrepair and force working class people and poor people to live in a state of disrepair causing them to move from place to place to place between disrepair and the threat of eviction. Um, there's a proposal that many nonprofits have uh, uh, 
are advocating at City Council right now called CHIP, the Chicago Healthy Homes Initiative Program, that would require proactive rental inspection. Instead of waiting until buildings get so dilapidated that tenants are put in the awful position of having to squeal to the city government, uh, uh, rat out their landlord to city government about the disrepair. Um, instead, we would implement a program, as is the case in many cities across the United States, where rental properties are proactively inspected so that 10 years from now, the quality of the housing stock is brought up to a decent level and we don't need big money to come in and save our neighborhoods because landlords and tenants will have a long-term interest in making sure properties stay in good shape and in stable condition and that will lower the level of displacement and help stabilize neighborhoods. So stable neighborhoods under the banner of housing as a human right, not a commodity, happens in many, many ways. There are many pieces to that puzzle, many faces in that picture. Just cause for eviction, proactive rental inspection, rent control and stabilization. There are many pieces that make this happen. Thank goodness we're not reinventing inventing the wheel here. These things are being done elsewhere and we need to bring them to Chicago. All right. And uh, final question, uh, maybe if our viewers and subscribers are interested in your organization, where can they find you online and on social media? Sure, so um, www.lcbh.org, lawyerscommittee4betterhousing.org. There's lots of information there. Um, we also uh, do tenants' rights work. Uh, we defend eviction cases. We help organize buildings of tenants, and we help tenants who are facing disrepair. So, And we work collaboratively with many, many community organizations to help stabilize communities. So lcbh.org, have a look, and if there's ways we can be helpful, feel free to contact us. All right, thank you for joining us. This is Kit Cabello of Harlands Media. Peace.